Ziggy's tired of being chased and has climbed up a tree to rest. Meanwhile, the tree she sleeps on uses energy from the sun. What is energy from the sun called? Energy from the sun is called solar energy. The sun provides our earth with both light and thermal energy. Plants use solar energy to make their own food in a process called photosynthesis. Light is a form of energy that helps us to see. Look at the light passing through the openings in these clouds. What do you notice about the way this light travels? Light rays travel in straight lines. Light rays pass through matter that is transparent or that we can see through, such as this fish tank. Light rays are blocked by matter that is not transparent, such as this wooden cabinet. This kind of matter is called opaque matter. Light bends as it passes through certain types of transparent matter. Why does Ziggy's face look so huge through the curved glass? Light passing through curved glass makes objects look larger than their actual size. Microscopes, magnifying glasses, and spectacles all use curved glass so that small objects and organisms look much larger than they are. Ziggy is still fast asleep in the warm afternoon sun. The energy that's keeping her warm is called thermal energy. Look at this ice cube. What would the ice cube feel like in your hand? The ice cube is cold and solid. Soon, heat from the hand will cause the solid to melt into a liquid. We can also get heat from different sources. Can you imagine what our Earth would be like if there was no light or heat? Without light and thermal energy, there would be no Ziggy, no tree, and no life on Earth. You just learned that the sun provides our Earth with both light and thermal energy. What are some changes that light and thermal energy can cause around us?